What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, we got our early first look at the upcoming season two reloaded operator bundles. Some of them have weapon blueprints, tracers, and all the details that you need to know about them. And surprisingly, some of the operator skins are actually gonna be free rewards that you'll be able to get. And I got all the details that you need to know about in today's video. If you find the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 400K. And also be sure to check out yesterday's video where we covered a free operator skin that you can get with the upcoming day zero launch event. Before we get into it, a quick where from our sponsor MessyModdingStore.com. It's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators, help you complete your mastery camo challenges, and much more. And the reason why I promote them is they do everything 100% legit without using mods or unlock tools. And not to mention they have some of the best reviews, so check them out. The link will be down in the description. We got a brand new update to the store that brought in the new Tracer Pack Resonance Ultra skin. This is going to cost you 2,400 COD points, brings in the new Titan Operator skin for Bantam. As you see here, it is fully animated, and then you also have the two different weapon blueprints the first one is for the wsp9 called the primordium and surprisingly not only does it include the tracer pack called the nether blaze tracers but it also has a death effect called the nether burst dismemberment so the good news is they did go all out and included everything they could with this bundle and then you have a second weapon blueprint called the quasar and this comes in for the attack eradicator once again same exact tracers and death effect and then the rest of the bundle will consist of a large decal, a weapon sticker, a weapon charm, and finally a one hour double battle pass token. Not only did we receive this new bundle in the store, we also got a different store update that actually removed a bundle, and that was the gassed up weapon vault. We talked about this in yesterday's video. This was a new bundle that was added to the store. This included tracer rounds for the WSP category. So the WSP Swarm, the WSP 9, and the WSP Stinger. They ended up getting a weapon vault, meaning that you can change the attachments to anything that you want. You can change the mag size, and it would keep the way that the weapon blueprint actually looks, and you would get to keep the tracer effects on it. And what made this bundle outrageous is the fact that it costed 3,400 COD points for basically three weapon blueprints. I'm assuming after the bundle came out, the community feedback must have been really negative towards that because they ended up posting saying the gassed up weapon vault has been temporarily removed from the store due to a pricing error. The intended price is 2,400 COD points. Players who purchased the bundle for 3,400 COD points will soon be refunded the difference of 1,000 COD points. I don't really think it was a pricing error but anyways the bundle has been removed and when it does get added it's going to be costing 2400 cod points pretty much the same as the other weapon vaults anyways these are the upcoming season two operator bundles we'll first talk about the ones coming in part one which are going to be releasing within these next two weeks and then we're going to go over the reloaded bundles that will start releasing on april 6th until the end of the season the first bundle that we have releasing this one's probably going to either come out tomorrow or the day after it's going to be the cryptids mothman bundle this has to do with the entire cryptids boot camp event and this is the last of the bundle that is going to be releasing it's going to be the same price as the other ones 2000 cod points you have the mothman operator for hatch two different weapon blueprints the first one's called the flutter which will be releasing for the striker nine the second one is called the nocturne that will be for the riveter shotgun and then you got things like a large decal as well as a weapon charm also huge credit to austin six if you want to check out the other upcoming operator bundles and more details on them i'll have his videos linked down below the next bundle that we have is called tracer pack vibranium this also will feature an ultra skin called the breather for jet as you see here it is animated especially the top of the head with that green smoke or gas going on and then you have two different weapon blueprints that have a tracer round and a death effect to it called the blooming tracer as well as the mulcher dismemberment and this is what the tracer rounds and effects will look like and then for the weapon blueprints you have for the first one called the dahlia for the bruin mk9 and the second one is for the amr9 called the wardian same exact tracers and death effects and then you have a large decal called the venus man trap you have a new weapon sticker a weapon charm and a one hour double battle pass xp token that will be costing you 2400 cod points Following that, we have the striation suit bundle. This one's going to be a little bit cheaper, probably 2,000 to 1,800. This features the fiber ops operator skin for Nolan. This is what it looks like. And then you got two different weapon blueprints, one called the tenderizer for the tack evolver, another one called the myosin for the haymaker. You have a large decal, a weapon sticker, a weapon charm, and a one hour double battle pass XP token. The next bundle that we have is called the tracer pack Zodiac Scorpio hero. And this will also be an ultra skin. It's called coal for riptide. I'm not in entirely sure why it's an ultra skin i don't really see anything animated maybe just how crazy he looks is probably why it's ultra skin and then you have one weapon blueprint it has only a tracer effect this one is called the sandstorm tracers and it comes in for the striker nine called the orion's bane and this is a look at what those tracer rounds and effects will look like and then that's the only blueprint then you have the sandstalker calling card you have a brand new large decal a weapon sticker an emblem and finally a weapon charm i think this is probably going to cost 2400 cod points but i hope maybe they do 2000 because it doesn't have death effects or an extra blueprint the next bundle that we have is 
called the Green Ghoul Tracer Pack. I'm pretty sure this is also an Ultra Skin. I'm not sure why they didn't label it as that, but this comes in with the animated Neutron outfit for Alpine. And as you see here, it is fully animated with like that green gas. And then it has a Zombie Strike Team slot. So you get an additional slot for your thing in Zombies. And then you have two different weapon blueprints. The first one is for the AMR9. It does have Tracers and the AMR9 is called the Wraith. That's what it looks like. And then the second weapon blueprints for the Riveter. This one is called the Soul Carver. Same exact trace surrounds and effects. And then you get a zombie acquisition, which is a brain rot ammo mod times three. You also receive a glow in the dark large decal, a brand new weapon sticker, and a weapon charm. This bundle will definitely cost you 2,400 COD points. And going on to the next one that we have, this is going to be the Walking Dead bundle called the Michonne. Tracer Pack Operator Bundle comes in with the Michonne Operator Skin. And because she is a new Operator Skin, she'll have voice lines as well as a brand new finishing move. And surprisingly, it comes in with three different weapon blueprints. You have the Lone Survivor for the MCW, the Longbow, and then you have the Dual Kadachis. And that comes in with a new Tracer Round and effect for all of them. And then you got other things like weapon stickers, a large decal, and a weapon charm. And then the last one you can expect is the Bio Robotic Operator Skin. It's called the Expo. This is what he looks like. He also comes in with a Strike Team slot. You got two different weapon blueprints one for the dg58 the other for the wsp swarm no trace arounds or animations you also have a refined ethereum crystal for zombies and then you get things like a large decal a weapon sticker and finally a weapon charm and these are pretty much all the bundles that we'll be releasing within these upcoming two weeks after that, now we jump into the Season 2 Reloaded Bundles, and these are not apparently finished, so we only got bits and pieces of them, but we do got some early in-game footage. The first operators come in from the Dune crossover that we're getting yet again, and this one is called the Harkonnen Commando. This will be a new outfit, not a new operator, but a new skin for Riptide, and this will also probably cost you 2,400 COD points. Credit to ThunderCod for this footage. If you want to see the full details and showcasing, I'll have his channel linked down below, but this is going to be the first bundle that you'll be able to get. In terms of the release date, whenever the Dune event begins, that's probably when you'll see this bundle added into the store. But along with him, there's also going to be a new variant of Paul Atreides. This one is called the Paul Atreides Fadekin Stealth Suit. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but this is basically just a skin variant for the Paul Atreides operator that we have. And according to leakers, this might actually be a free skin that you will be able to get. I'm not entirely sure if you need to own Paul Atreides to get this for free or maybe if it's just part of the event reward. So the mastery, once you complete everything, you'll be able to get this skin variant. It obviously won't be the regular Paul Atreides with the mask off. This is a separate skin, but for that same character. So maybe the voice lines are going to stay the same, but this is the new look that they have for him. I'll have more details once that season two reloaded update rolls around. But as of right now, this might actually be a free skin you can get. The next operator bundle is called the Horseman of the Apocalypse. This one is called the Pestilence. And this also comes in in the reloaded update. And according to forward leaks this might be the operator skin that we'll be releasing during the dk event that we are expecting if you guys recall we have like this event releasing with three new updated maps it's like the vortex ltm mode all over again and if you recall that red horseman operator skin was the main character for the entire event you put him on you'll get an xp boost it's going to be the same way here with this guy called pestilence he's going to be a part of that whole horseman set and then he's going to be the one that you'll have to put on to get an xp boost for this brand new decay event that we're going to get and this calling card pretty much proves that and as you see here from the footage it's definitely going to be an ultra skin so it will cost you a minimum of 2400 cod points we haven't gotten a look at any of the blueprints or any of the other cosmetics which will be added during the reloaded of the the next skin that we have this one is going to be one that we talked about in yesterday's video this one is called the safeguard this will be a free skin that you'll be able to get with a crossover with warzone mobile called the day zero event if you want more details on that i'll have the video linked down in the description but we already talked about it and how you'll be able to get the operator skin in the outfit and that's either going to be releasing in the reloaded update or during season three we don't have an exact release date as of right now the next operator skin that was leaked is the monster skin this one is called the beast we've talked about this one quite a couple of times it's looking like he's actually going to be an operator bundle that will be hitting the store and because of that we have a matching weapon blueprint and this one is called the automatic energy coming in for the lmg tac evolver it doesn't look like it has trace arounds or effects you got some early footage of it in the range and it doesn't look like it has any sort of trace around so maybe this bundle will cost you 2,000 cod points at most it may end up updating it adding trace around and an additional blueprint and making it cost more i'm not entirely sure we'll know that once the reloaded update does release the next two operators that we have are also been leaked just to be operators alone so they're not necessarily tied to bundles they can be updated for reloaded and then end up getting added as store operator skins or maybe they could be free rewards as a part 
of an event. But the first one we have is called the BIOS. This one says a fatal sting hides among the shifting sands. And then this is going to be an operator skin for Alpine. So it's not a brand new operator. This is a skin variant. But at the same time, it looks really nice and it might end up being as a part of a bundle. It doesn't look like it's an ultra skin. There's no animations or anything like that going on with it. So it may not cost you more than 2000 COD points. We got two different photos of this operator skin and these are what they look like. The next operator that we have is called the patrol and the description says don't ask about the refueling process and when you look at the operator it is definitely one that stands out at the same time it also reminds me of transformers but it's like an off-brand version of it it doesn't look like an official crossover unfortunately but they did take some things for example you could see the wheels there's some on the back some right there on the elbow and i don't think there's any matching weapon blueprints yet available in the game so maybe the weapons could also end up having transformation features and probably will end up being finished in the reloaded update i can't imagine this being a free reward either just based on how nice it actually looks and maybe since it's not complete this could end up being an ultra skin where maybe the wheels start turning or something like that the eyes start glowing the lights start flashing at the top of his head it definitely has potential to turn into an ultra skin going on to the next operator we have this one is not guaranteed to release in season two reloaded but we just got a couple of teasers and i just wanted to inform you guys on them but this is the hawk operator skin for soap if you guys recall we were supposed to get this during the little tf141 versus shadow company event in mw2 and because Shadow Company ended up winning. We never saw this skin added into the game. But for some reason, it ended up getting carried over into MW3, and leakers are able to find it in the files. And then surprisingly, Warzone Mobile introduced daily login rewards, and a reskin version of Soap was actually one of the free rewards that you can get, but surprisingly, it doesn't cross over into Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone 2. Maybe we could end up getting a different version of these daily login rewards that get added for multiplayer. We haven't seen daily login rewards come in for quite a while now, and maybe this is an early indicator that he might end up being a reward that you'll be able to get. They also tease him in a different photo in the roadmap of the season two update and we noticed since the release of mw3 they have done that a lot where they will tease an operator skin that isn't available in that particular update and then it usually comes in an update later for example the ghost mw19 variant of him they sort of tease that with the artwork for the christmas update and he didn't release up until this season in the battle pass they did the same thing with the heart of ice ultra skin that one was teased with the vortex event in the first half of season one and it didn't arrive until season one reloaded so maybe it could be the same way here I don't want to get your hopes up, but I just wanted to inform you guys on some of this information because I know a lot of you guys want to see this operator skin get added. Anyways, finally, there are other weapon blueprints and camos and other different cosmetics that are set to arrive sometime during Reloaded. For example, the St. Patrick's Day event. This one is called the Lucky Shot SMG coming in for the striker. We're not entirely sure if this will be a part of a bundle or if this will be a part of the St. Patrick's Day event. As you guys know, when they do that event, they will have a matching operator skin that will get added into the store. And also, I do want to remind you that all the operator skins that I've shown you are not the only ones that are releasing in Reloaded. There's going to be other surprises, other bundles that we didn't expect and a lot more coming out. Anyways, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys in this video. If you found it helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see here and I'll definitely cover them and let you guys know more about them. But it's been your boy Chizzo. Thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.